Hi everyone, it's Victoria with Candles by Victoria. I know, long time no see. I have um, just, you yeah, know, been busy. What can I tell you? Just <laughs> life in general's been busy. Um, I just want to come on here this morning. I've been telling Candleman for like two weeks. I need to make a video. I need to go say hi to everybody. Let them know that uh, we're still making candles, but I'm also still alive. So I just uh, wanted to say thank you to all our new subscribers. Um, you probably haven't seen my face since you subscribed because I haven't made a face-to-face -face video in a while. Um, so hi, and it's nice to meet you. I'm Victoria. Um, hopefully you have placed an order with us or tried our candles or heard something about our candles. Um, if you have any questions about anything, just leave those comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but today's just about coming on and saying hi and talking to y'all and just kind of catching up with life in general. Uh, it is June the 20th. Oh my gosh, it's June the 20th. This year's kind of flying by, right? Like I remember, um, January 1st, I was like, oh, it's 2015. We're just going to do all kinds of new stuff and I'm making all kinds of videos and I haven't done any of that. So it's kind of hard, uh, any of you out there that run your own business to fit everything you want to do into a single day. And, you know, Candles by Victoria, um, I work there. <laughs> I don't just, it's not just my name. I actually pour the candles and um, with help, of course, from my family and uh, Alicia, our employee. So, but I work. So I come in here every morning just like everybody else. And, um, you know, I get the day laid out for everybody and um, figure out what we're going to pour up that day and print orders and do all that stuff uh, before everybody comes in. And then Chelsea comes in and she labels everything that needs to be labeled and um then we start pouring and alicia if you don't know alicia pours all the scent shots and um tarts and melts and anything like that and any wax embeds that we need for the decorative type candles and um then chelsea and i pour all the candles i pour all the candles and she pretty much decorates everything so um i come up with a design and then i show it to her and then she takes it from there so she is my right hand girl for sure i couldn't do it without her um then candle man he kind of runs around all day and does things that we need him to do and pick up supplies or um take stuff to the post office if we have international orders or you know mows the grass or takes care of something for my parents um we keep him running pretty much during the day and then in the evening uh when we're all done pouring everything i print your guys's um shipping labels and then we lay everything out and then candleman packs it that night and then the fedex guy picks it up the next day so a lot of times you'll notice that you get your shipping notice and it won't you know update or anything until the next day sometimes if it's not as busy of a day um he'll be able to get those packed and on the truck that that day i think that actually happened on friday so um you know but most of the time it's the next day before fedex picks it up so um you know because he's you know he might be here packing orders you know till eight or nine o'clock at night usually we'll he'll come home and we'll have some dinner and then he'll come back up here to the shop and he'll pack up orders so yeah that's what he does um if you, i don't know if you noticed or not but the fish tank behind me is gone um it was just a lot of work i don't know if those of you that have fish tanks know that they're a lot of work and Candleman took care of that fish tank for me um you know he had to clean it and vacuum it and um you know we had to keep up with filters and the fish that we had ate a special kind of food so we had to go get that food and we're not getting any younger so i'm trying to um reduce the amount of work that candleman has to do every day so i figured a good place to start would be the fish tank since it it really was a lot of work for him 
and on a weekend where he might be able to you know just it, relax and go fishing or do something like that he can go fishing and not have to mess with the fish so um, I put it up for sale and uh, a really nice gentleman and his wife came and got it he was a retired vet and um, uh, they were very sweet and he was a little nervous about the discus fish that I had because he had never had those before but I told him you know we don't do anything special and they have survived with us so I, I think you'll be okay um, and so they were real excited to get the tank and we helped them load it all up and everything and and um, yeah so the fish tank is gone and I'm trying to give little little can little candleman I'm trying to give candleman a little less work um, to do in the winter he's not quite as busy um, but in the summertime he has a lot to do with work and the pool and you know everything else just like me and which brings me back to what I was telling you about um, you know owning your own business and trying to make time for everything um, you know you're you're constantly um, trying to advertise and trying to get people to the website and you know put working on stuff and putting out a great product and um, testing new fragrances and trying to create new um, items for you guys and you know you have a lot going on in your head and there's so much that you want to do and but there's only so many hours in the day to be able to do that and it's just a lot to juggle and I turned uh, 50 last November and although I don't feel 50 and I feel like you know I still have <laughs> plenty of time um, you get a little more tired I'm just gonna tell you you just do um, so I'm just you know I that's my explanation about why I haven't been making videos videos take a, a long time to make and I, I love you guys and I appreciate every single one of our customers so that's really not an excuse it's just just kind of make the time to come down here and do it um, it's just hard sometimes and that's my explanation and, you know anyway so um, also wanted to fill you in on my dad I know the last time I probably was on here I was in tears and a mess because um, we had uh, it started out with me just I was gonna have an auction for some candles to help raise some money to get my dad this wheelchair um, my dad has a muscular disease called uh, inclusion body mitosis and it's very rare disease and not a lot of people even not even doctors know about it um, we'll go to the doctor for something for them and they'll be like oh my god your feet or oh what's wrong with you you know and we tell them and they you know a lot of them haven't even heard of it so it's very very rare and it's very very debilitating and um, he really really needed a new wheelchair so but they're very expensive and his insurance Medicaid Medicare or whatever he has um, wasn't gonna pay for it um, and the chair he had was just wore out I mean, it was just completely wore out and it just wasn't serving his needs anymore so um, I decided to do an auction for some candles to help try to raise a little bit of money and you guys all were so generous and so wonderful and um, many many of you donated and uh, one in particular and you know who you are um, made quite a huge donation and um, uh, I don't want to I want to say her name but I don't want to embarrass her but what the heck make up for lost time who is um, many of you have probably watched her over the years do videos about candles by Victoria and she is just a sweetheart and although we don't talk on a daily basis and even before um, this all came up with a wheelchair you know we didn't she's got a busy life and she does wonderful things um, for kids and stuff and and um, so but she just messaged me one day and she's like I just found it it's been put on my heart to do this for you and for your dad so that was an amazing amazing gift and um, all the donations were an amazing gift and he's doing great that's that's my point here is the wheelchair has been has given him so much more freedom um, it help it lift it raises up really really high so he's able to get from 
he because of the muscle disease he doesn't have the muscles in his legs basically his legs are skin and bone literally and so it was really hard for him to stand up from a sitting position and even the chair that he had it did raise up some but it got to the point where it wasn't right you know raising up enough so this new chair raises almost to a standing position so he's able to get up it is comfortable he has no more issues with um, skin irritations um, he it has a thing where he can put his feet up so his feet although they're still not perfect by any stretch of the imagination they look so much better um, it keeps a charge which is you know important and he zips up to Berkshire's which is uh, probably he probably has to go like three blocks so he can ride his wheelchair to Berkshire's and get his little groceries you know we're always there to get whatever he needs and pick up stuff for them but uh, he likes to just get out and ride his wheelchair to Berkshire's and I think that's great that he can do that so I just wanted to thank you all that donated um, to my dad's wheelchair and those that sent emails and those that sent prayers for him and um, thank you all very much and he's doing really really great and I couldn't be happier um, he couldn't be happier with his wheelchair and it's fun for me to see him uh, more mobile you know it's hard when when the roles reverse and kind of you know I mean he's still my daddy and um, they haven't reversed that much let's just put it that way but when you when your parents get older and they start having health issues and you know it's it's a devastating thing for sure but anyway um, don't want to get down on that and I don't definitely don't want to cry in this video so I'm just gonna say that's what's going on with that um, we had a giveaway on our uh, Facebook page well we've been doing a lot of giveaways on our um, our fan page we had one for a caramelized praline supreme and just a, well a week or so ago and then we did another little thing where if you place an order during a two-day period you had a chance to win our um, 22 ounce glitter train candle and platinum which is my favorite glitter color but anyway yeah so we picked a winner for that and that's going to be going out in the order that she placed and um and so I wanted to do another giveaway here on YouTube we haven't done a giveaway in a long time and also I wanted to mention that we have the scent reviewer for a year contest you guys still have I know I have been slacking and you guys haven't gotten anything from me in a while um, it has just seemed like it's been one thing after another every month you know either it's you know my dad or it's work or you know it's something it's all you know it's always been something so you all still have at least one more month of fragrances to coming to you I don't know if it'll be this month or not I do have a few new fragrances that I'm going to be uh, introducing and one in particular uh, Candleman is super excited about it's his uh, favorite cereal scent and that I, I finally found it in a fragrance and he is gonna he's really excited and I think you guys will be excited about it too but um, that'll all be in July the first of July um, and we've got some new candle designs coming and some new glassware for candles coming and so I've got a lot of things going on with that as usual there's always something going on but anyway since I've, we've been having these giveaways so much on um, the Facebook page and everything I thought I'd do a YouTube giveaway and really the only thing you need to do is be a subscriber please and um, and leave a message in the comment box either a favorite fragrance that you have tried from us that you really love um, or one that you would like to try that um, if you if you're not a customer and or you haven't tried any of our stuff so maybe something that you'd like to try and if you'll just leave the set name and the description of that fragrance in the down bar below then we will pick a a winner a winner at random um, by that so I'm just going to tell you what this is this is um, our love Victoria Whoop, let me get it to where you guys can see it it's a love Victoria glitter candle and oh my lighting's really bad I'm sorry um, but this is in this is 
oh my goodness, I think this is magenta. I don't know, but it's really pretty. <laughs> and I think it's magenta. I know it's not violet, it's too, it's too pink. But it's a really pretty pink glittery color. It comes double wicked, and you can see some glitter on the top. And this one is in Reese's Peanut Butter. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That smells really good. Yum. So anyway, we're going to be giving away this candle. Um, this is open to the U.S. only. Uh, just leave your comments below. Be sure you're a subscriber. And um, leave, leave the you know the fragrance that you want to try or that you have tried and the description of that fragrance so that other people can kind of read what that scent is all about that you love so much and um, then we will draw a winner on um, this well let's just do it next Saturday I'll uh, you know try to come down here and do another video <laughs> we'll see how that works out but yeah, I mean, if I don't do a face-to-face -face video, we will announce it here on YouTube um, in a video of some sort so you all know. Um, yeah, so that is about it, I guess. Um, it's good to see you guys. Um, it's always good to have these little chit-chats with y'all and uh, just kind of catch up with life. Um, everybody's doing good. Candleman's doing great. His mom came for a visit uh last i think it was the weekend before last and um that was a nice visit with her we love her very much and um so that was a good visit and then tomorrow is father's day so i want to wish all the fathers out there a very very happy father's day and especially to my own father i love you very much with all my heart and soul you've been the best daddy a girl could ever have and that's saying a lot since it's been 50 years. <laughs> so it's hard to believe that you, is it hard for you to believe that you've been a father to somebody for 50 years? It's kind of hard for me to believe. Hard to believe that I'm 50, period. But I love you and you've been amazing daddy. And I'm so blessed to have you as my father. And um, to Matt, my husband, Mr. Candleman, the one and only, um, you are the best dad that any children could have. You are the best partner that anybody could have. You're, you live for your family. And I couldn't do all of this without you. I wouldn't want to do all of this without you. So I love you very much. And thank you for being so amazing all the time. Um, even when you're annoying me. <laughs> you're still pretty dang amazing. So, no, you know, nobody's perfect. Well... Yeah, nobody's perfect either am I. <laughs> so, but I love you and thanks for always being there and for being my best, biggest cheerleader because I couldn't have done any, you know, all this without your help, that's for sure. So, that's about it the other day. Well, I keep saying that's about it and then I keep talking like, I don't know, I got diarrhea of the mouth here today. But Matt and I went to have dinner at this little, okay, so we live in Van, Texas. Oh, and by the way, I, I will discuss that. <laughs> This video is going to be longer than I thought. I want to talk about the tornado too. But the other day, that we went to this little place called Sweet Treats. And it's a little lady that has a building outside of her home, outside of her home on this back road, you know, because we live in the country. And she makes, um, she sells food out of here. And we'd, we'd seen the sign for quite a while, but we just never thought about giving it a try. Well, the other day, Matt called she had a facebook page go figure right and so he called her and he's like you know we want to come and eat but we have a dog can we bring her dog blah, blah, blah. and she's like yeah of course so we go there and it was just this really cute little place you know and she had these little tables sitting outside and her menu like was pretty extensive i was seriously impressed like she had um everything from funnel cake and banana pudding to uh chicken fried steak and philly cheese steaks and then uh, Matt and I just both decided to try her Philly cheesesteak and then she's like well do you want french fries um, tater tots potato salad the potato chips and I'm thinking oh, where are you putting all this stuff in this building it was crazy so 
anyway, we had a nice little dinner out there, and that's just, you know, country living for you. You know, it. You would. this place is way out of the way. It's way in, you know, it's not on a main street anywhere. But I was like, you go, girl. Anyway, she told us, we said, what's your name? You know, we were introducing ourselves, and she said, everybody calls me Granny D. And I was like, well, then that's what I'm going to call you. And Matt said, well, everybody calls me Candleman. So, uh... That was that was cute and she was really cute and we'll definitely be back and um, I liked her Facebook page and so yeah that was fun but on Mother's Day we uh, van was hit by a tornado and I'm sure most of you have heard about that or or heard me talk about it or saw it on the news or whatever it was devastating it was a really 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 scary night um, we knew that bad weather was coming earlier, um, but we didn't realize that how bad the bad weather was going to be. And it came up pretty quick. I mean, it was lightning and thundering and doing all that stuff. And, you know, all of a sudden the sirens went off and the, the power had went out probably maybe 10 minutes before the sirens went off. And um, we had our phone, so I was, you know, checking the weather channel and all that. And then the sirens went off and we were like it was you know I don't know there is I mean I've, there's been a lot of times where there, there's been a bad storm and the sirens have gone off and we're just like you know but I will never take that sound of sirens going off for granted again I will you know get in a completely safe place as quickly as I possibly can because it was literally um, a minute or two after the sirens went off that, that we could hear the tornado coming. Candleman was just a little crazy and he was standing out on the front porch and he said we were not. We were in the house. Um, Chelsea and Wade and I at this point that's all that was there. Um, he, he said he could literally track. It was dark but as the lightning was hitting he could literally track and see and hear you know the path that the tornado was taken which was literally two blocks from our building um going well, uh north to south i guess um anyway i really bad at north southeast was but whatever so that it went by and we were you know safe but we didn't know the extent of the damage or where exactly it hit matt kind of had an idea because he'd been standing out there but I was concerned because I was trying to call my parents and of course the power was out so their regular home phone, phone wasn't working and I tried to call my daddy's cell phone and he wasn't answering that. But you know they're in bed, they were prob I figured they were probably in bed and um, you know it's hard for him to get up to get to the phone, whatever. So we've all, we've worked all that out since. But I said we need to get my in our car and go over and check on him. I did you know, we knew it was to the east of us that where it hit but we didn't know if any other damage was to the west we just didn't know it was dark you didn't know so we got in the car and we drove over here my dad's two buildings down two houses down from my actually one house and then him from my shop and we drove over here and everything was fine over here um you know no trees down no power lines down nothing down and i knew they were probably in bed and i knew they were safe so we left and we drove around the back down toward the east side of town and we were coming up um, 110 and we started noticing some stuff in the street and I said Matt what is that stuff and he said that is uh, insulation that's insulation from people's homes and we saw some power lines down and the first responders were just starting to show up and I said and it was still storming pretty bad and I said you need to take me home because I feel like this isn't over so again it was dark and we couldn't see the extent of the damage and we didn't go down the roads that it you know now that we know now we didn't go down those that night so we went back to the house and we hadn't been back at the house for five minutes or so and there was a knock at my door and it was um virginia a girl that used to work for us and they live in a trailer well a, a little house but they don't have any real safe place to go so she was like can we come in can we come in we there's another one coming and i was like absolutely come in so she came in and her husband and their mother-in-law and their daughter and their little dog and my house is a center block building so if you're going to be safe anywhere 
you know, as safe as you can be in a tornado, that's probably one of the safer buildings. So they came in and a little while later, her um, niece called and she lived on Ohio Street and Ohio Street got hit really hard. As a matter of fact, her house got hit and her babies were sleeping. She has a couple of kids and then she had her sister-in-law, her sister's kids over. So she had five little kids under, you know, eight or nine years old. And when the first one came through and it hit their house and glass was flying everywhere and she ran and got put the kids in the van and she was trying to leave before the second one came and the first responders because the power lines and stuff that were down they didn't want her leaving well when the sirens went off for the second one they all took off to take cover which i don't blame them i've done the same thing and she just backed up her van and she came to my house so it was her and her husband and then these five little kids who were hysterically crying as you can imagine they had just been through a horrible ordeal you know and they were just scared to death and half of you know they were in their pjs and no shirts or no you know you know bless their hearts so we got them all settled down just so happened that for some reason well i had bought my mom my stepmom likes gummy bears and i had got her some gummy bears for mother's day with some other stuff and um so i had a craving for gummy bears so i had some gummy bears there that i didn't even eat them and matt started passing gummy bears out to the little kids and they all calmed down pretty quick but then the sirens went off again and um the second tornado came through and the that's where matt got some video of that one and because he was staying on the back porch this time and you can just see where the rain is literally going sideways and the thunder and lightning. And as he pans over to the left, because he couldn't really see where it was coming, he panned to the left for a second. And you can see where stuff's on fire and, you know, the, oh, it was just really scary. And then he then he panned most of the video back to the right, thinking that, that it was coming from that way. But come to find out the next morning when, um, you know, well, at, nobody left our house till 1.30 or so in the morning. And about 2 in the morning, I got a knock at my door saying, we heard that there was a bunch of people here with so-and-so here. They were going door-to-door -door checking for people that were missing. Um, but the next morning when we were all able to see the devastation, it was, um, it was pretty mind-boggling. Um, there was so much damage. It, I just, you know, it, our the house is completely gone you know two lives were lost um just you drive along and there'd be driveway 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 but no houses and just people and how when you drove through and looked at everything to think that only only that's just a terrible word when you describe there's only two people that died i mean it's horrible horrible but it is astonishing that only two people did um perish in that in that tornado there were a lot of injuries and a lot of people that were in the hospitals but um and we can rebuild and we will rebuild and they've done a lot of cleanup here um but it's just sad to see stuff and we just all found out the other day that one of the oldest schools or the old school here in our town that's been there i'm not even get at least 75 years i'm not even gonna guess i don't know how long it's been there but they thought they could fix the old gym and the old administration building and apparently it can't be uh, because the damage is so severe and the asbestos and this, that, and other, um, it's not something that they can do, so they have to be torn down. And that's sad, but, you know, we'll rebuild, and it'll, we'll make new memories, you know, and the outpouring of love and support that came into this town, um, has been crazy. I mean, immediately the next day there was help here, like a lot of help, uh, probably more help as far as the amount of people that came into Van to help than the amount of people that actually live in Van. So it was um, it was truly a blessing to see the love and the outpour. And still to this day, um, you know, as the cleanup continues and the rebuilding continues, this, this, the love and support that's come through here. But it was a scary night. And thankfully, um, we were set, we were spared uh, by the grace of God. We were spared. Our home was spared. Our business was spared. My parents' home was spared. Um, Melissa and Josh's home was spared. We were all safe. Nobody was hurt. Everybody in my immediate family w were safe. And, you know, we are very, very thankful for that. And when you live through something like that, you really, you know, I count my blessings every day. Um, 
especially at 50 years old you wake up and you go thank you god for another day i really appreciate it you're awesome so when you live through something like that you really don't take anything for granted you um you just are thankful you know and we're really thankful so all right this video is going to be really really long so i'm going to get off here and um just tell you all thank you very much we appreciate you guys uh right now we have over 950 fragrances and you know that's probably not going to end anywhere anytime soon because i am a scentaholic so just keep watching the website if you have any questions about the website let me know post them below or send me an email i'm here all the time happy to answer your questions join our facebook page check us out on facebook we have a couple group pages and we have our fan page and if you want to belong to any of the group pages just send me a private message on my personal page at victoria palmer elliott on facebook and i'll get you added to a group page um but yeah there's always a lot of stuff going on on facebook and uh we're gonna do more here i promise and it was great to see you guys. I love you all very much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the continu continued support. 16 years in business. Uh, 7 years on YouTube. Um, I love you guys very much. You're awesome. We have the best customers in the world. By bar none. Bar none. I will, I've said that a million times. And, and uh, I'll say it again. We have the best customers ever. You all are so loving, caring, kind. And... Uh, the support that you've given us and our business and our family over the years has been amazing. We love you guys. We truly appreciate it and we don't ever take it for granted. Thank you all so much. I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully next weekend. Enter the contest for the candle. We pay shipping. Um, so have a great day and we love you. Talk to you all soon.